We had uh, three days of this is the third days of uh, practicing. It's been going well. We try to uh, we have a very interesting mix of experienced players and some young guys who try to put them in the system. And for us, it's very important to live the culture of our team. So um, we are more together for the future uh, challenges that we're going to face. And at the same time, we are preparing. We're doing our maximum. Uh, to play these two games against uh, Luxembourg and uh, Slovakia and get uh, the best result out of it uh, that we can do. Um, we understand the, the difficulties as far as uh, the virus and pink. We have still have players that uh, they're not at the same level of physical preparation and this is something that we have to deal with. But uh, as I was saying to the guys, we all need to bring our uh, best in terms of energy, in terms of uh, basketball activities, in terms of uh, attitude, because in the end uh, what we show out there to the people is we represent our country, we represent the Kosovo and we need to do this in the best possible way. Being at home uh, is always good, being in familiar situations. Without fans it's something terrible. Uh, if we didn't have this thing, we would have a packed gym and it would have a huge impact um, on uh, on the game, unfortunately, um, being in this cold environment is not the best. Okay, players have started to getting used to it by now with uh, playing without fans, but uh, it's something that we we hate. We play for the fans, we play play for the people, and being without our support here is going to be like we're missing a very important element in our game. I expect them to understand uh, where where they are. Because it's very important, they come uh, from uh, different places, they come from different uh, categories of basketball and they have no um, uh, idea of how international basketball is played and the level of the competition that we're going to follow. And we're trying as much as we can to, uh, to incorporate it in our system. Hopefully we have uh, very good veterans that will, uh, their example, they show the way to these young people and uh, the spirit of the team could uh, transfer to them and to the future the generations that will come as well. I don't know, it's up to the doctors and to the physiotherapists, we're doing the best we can. We will try, if we have them it will be great, if not we will try to cover the gap whatever way possible.